Hello everyone, my name is Alex from Ernest Alex Reads and today I will be doing a book review of Emily Eternal by M.G. Whedon. I received this arc last year um, at Yalk um, and so thank you so much to Hotterscape and to the lovely people at the bookmark booth. Um, this goes without saying, this is an honest review. Um, the, the premise of this novel is that the scientists at MIT have developed a artificial consciousness. Um, the difference between an artificial consciousness and artificial intelligence is never explained in this book, but she is definitely described multiple times as a artificial consciousness. Um, her job, or what she's been programmed to do, is to help humans go through that have gone through traumatic events heal from that yeah in a sped up way um so basically she's a psychologist slash social worker um but the humans of the world have noticed that the sun is dying hundreds of years before it is predicted to which means that the world is ending and it is now emily's mission to try and save the human race and now i'm going to be talking about what i liked and what i didn't like in this novel Things that I liked about this book, um, I really like the concept um, of a artificial consciousness trying to help humans get through trauma and try to be able to accomplish a lot of um, work in a very short amount of time to try to heal um, humans who have gone through traumatic events in their lives. Um, I really enjoy any book that has the scientists as the ones who are actually trying to save the world instead of some like ex-military soldier um, with a gun. I think it's much more realistic that you would have um, uh, analytical scientists try to save the world instead of like somebody, you know, running around in car chases. Um, so I really like that aspect of the novel. Emily's journey throughout the novel is very interesting um, because she has been um, alive for five years and they have been, the scientists on her team have been trying really hard to make her as human as possible. She grapples a lot with um, very human emotions while also understanding that she's not actually human and um, having to deal with that juxtaposition throughout the book. Things I didn't like about this novel, um, the romance. There's a romance in this novel and I did not get it. I was not invested and I did not like reading about it. I mean, it makes sense plot wise because Emily is a, is dealing, is developing very human, um, emotions and responses and romance is a huge part of what and um, finding people attractive and being in romantic relationships is a huge part of many humans experience um, but I was not into it. Um, the other thing that I did not like about this novel is there's about five plots going on um, so I was very confused it's kind of read a little bit like the author really wanted this and this and this to happen and within 300 pages kind of the whole plot changed multiple times and I would have been happy following one or two of the plots um, and have that be more detailed. Because of the romance and the confusion on average I gave this book three stars. I would suggest this book to people who enjoy reading about scientists trying to save the world, reading about artificial intelligence or artificial consciousness, um, who enjoy that kind of speculative scientific um, lens while trying to figure out what it means to be human. My arc says that it comes out on the 9th of April, um, although on Goodreads it says sometime like the 25th late in April. Um, so check it out if you are interested. I really like this cover. Don't know if you can see. Thank you for watching this book review. I hope it gave you some relevant information or not. It's up to you to take away whatever you want from this video. Um, but thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day um, and I will see you in my next video.